when the spirit came out, I said goodbye to my family, I'm going to school, and I will hide on the stairs until that little kid will deliver the comics to my neighbor who was subscribed to them. <laughs> then I will read the spirit, and then go back and run to school. <laughs> but because it was every Wednesday that people at school thought it was a normal that I was late every Wednesday. So <laughs> they never uh, found it different. Every Wednesday it was an hour late, and that was fine. For <laughs> the reason, so. But it was because of the spirit. I, I just really loved it. Then Donald Duck came out in Spanish and uh, all kinds of comics. But the spirit was my thing. So now imagine after I came to the state, met Will Eisner and became, we became friends, colleagues. And it was terrific. It was su such a, a great way to, to, to meet somebody that you have loved so many years in paper. And then when I was at MAD, Jerry DeFucho, who was one of the editors, collected everything. So he had the whole spirit run in English. So I read it in English again in 1964. He loaned me the whole box thing. There were no mylar things or <laughs> white boxes. It was a cardboard box. Uh, and uh, I read all the spirits again. And I got amazed how well they have been translated because I, I loved it in English again. So now they go and they, I got a call from the editor and said, Sergio, would you like to write the spirit? Oh my God, of course I will love them. <coughs> so I've been doing it and uh, I've been getting a, a great, great, great pleasure to being able to take this character that I love so much, you know, to, to make, to do what I wanted him to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I respect very much the, what Will was doing. So he'll be very much on, on his line. And also I got to do Batlash again. Uh, I have created a Western character a few years ago. I was asked to, to create a, a, a different kind of cowboy for DC, and I was asked by Joe Orlando and Carmen Infantino. So I thought of this absurd Western guy with a flower in the hat and everything, and it, it worked terrific. And we did a few issues, I don't remember how many. And then it went out of things because comics do that. And so they asked me again if I could write again a six issue with a, a gentleman called Branvold, Peter Branvold, who's a Western writer. And uh, he wrote, and I mean, what I do best, you know, translated into comic book form and give it the whole continuity of my own character. So now, it's, and it's been drawn by one of the best artists in Westerns ever, being um, John Severin. So if you have a chance to find some of those issues, you get it because it's a, it's a delightful, a more and more, more darker than originally was is because it's a, a darker period for Batlash. But uh, that's, uh, so right now I'm thankfully employed doing MAD still, the MAD look at the marginals, Batlash, the spirit, and grew. I just finished uh, a series called Hell on Earth, which is about uh, the global warming issue. And it's Bruce's fault, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he doesn't solve anything, of course. Um, and uh, right now, I'm preparing a new series with, of course, with, uh, with Mark. Uh, who is not here, by the way, <laughs> who is called Gru and Conan. It's a crossover, <laughs> which I've been very much against all my life, because uh, I don't believe in characters mingling into other words. But Mark wrote a wonderful series called Sergio Destroys DC, Sergio Argonis Destroys DC, and Sergio Argonis Massacres Marvel. <laughs> um, Sergio Argonis, um, a stomp Star Wars. And we could do it because we were in it. It was a, a mixture with fantasy, so the, the world, <coughs> these characters didn't really get disrupted because it was sort of like a fantasy of ours and dreams and things like that. So thinking after we did that and said, well, because they've been after us to do that, that group corner for a long time. Since uh, Dark Horse got the rights for 
for for Connor. <clears throat> I'm not used to talk so much. Mark does all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> So you need to drink some water. So they got the right to this quite about a crossover and first I said no, so I, I didn't believe it. But slowly I got convinced because both are barbarians and I'm going to include myself in it. And Mark, we're going to be in a fantasy thing that we are, you'll see it, it's a kind of parallel. And the other reason I didn't want to do it is because I didn't want Gru to lose to Conan, <laughs> and they absolutely don't want Conan to lose to Gru, you know? <laughs> they can't come at me, you know? So I couldn't figure it out how to solve that problem. That was one of the things that... And one day I was figuring it out, I saw another movie that I... one of my favorite movies, called Rashomon. And suddenly I realized, my God, of course! This is how people see things. The same event, but, but different points of view. <coughs> and I go, oh, boom, the story just hit me like a light bulb. I had the whole thing done. Yeah. So I said, and there it was. It came out pretty good. I'm, I'm writing it right now. So once it's a little more ordered, because uh, Tom Yates is going to draw Conan, which is a very good artist and fantastic uh, representative of uh, Conan. So I'm figuring out right now the logistics of what he does and what I do, and if the foliage is going to be a groove foliage or <laughs> common foliage and things like that, you know. Certain things are very clear, what's going to be what, you know? but certain things I'm still a little obscure in how I'm going to solve it, but we are there. So probably very soon you'll have a groove Conan series. And of course, we've also been asked to do Gru and Tarzan. <laughs> well, that's even easier. First, because they fit in the world. You know, it's not like Superman and, and Gru, which be absolutely a no, a no go. You know. But Tarzan went into a place where there were dinosaurs. Remember, he crossed the mountains, and they are dinosaurs. So if Tarzan, which is a very credible character can find dinosaurs, well, he can find Gru <laughs> in, in a special place across this mountain of berries. <laughs> and I've, I'm starting just to figure it out how I'm going to be. They don't have to find each other. They just have to switch places, I think. That'll be a, a more logical, because Gru has to make a havoc of all the animal kingdom, you know, so. <laughs> Poor Tarzan come back. <laughs> what place is this? You know, so first we'll do Conan and then we'll do we'll do Tarzan. And so far that's what I'm doing and what I'm going to do for a while, besides other little assignments, which don't let me sleep at all. You know. 